Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I am so excited to share with you some of the new items I got from Torrid. So Torrid just recently had their July Torrid cash redemption time. So I purchased a few items that I thought would be great for the school year. I do teach third grade and I do try to incorporate a lot of my clothing that I buy like from everyday life into my wardrobe to teach in. Uh, meaning like if it's a fandom like Disney, I try to see if I can still wear it to school. Or, you know, I can, I try to basically use both items for like everyday life and like work life, if that makes sense. But I did see that they came out with some really fun items like for Disney and Harry Potter. So I did buy those and I'm just excited to try them on and share them with you. So I did use my Torrid Cash, which is 50, it's like 50% off. Like if you have $50, if you spend 50, you get to redeem $25. So essentially it's 50% off, which is kind of like the highest most of the time you can get from Torrid. I know sometimes they do like um, surprise where you could do like between 30 to 60. But every time I click that on my email, I never get 60. I, for some reason, I always get 40. So when it's Torrid Cash Time, I do try to like buy clothing at like more than the usual stuff. So I do have everything I bought with my Torrid Cash, but I have one item that I didn't buy with Torrid Cash. I bought it like a week before Torrid Cash was going to be able to be redeemed because I had put, I had looked at it, but it was out of stock in my size. And then I got an email that said it was in stock in my size. I didn't put like for an email to let me know, but I think because I had browsed it that I knew that I was interested in that item. I don't know, but it came in stock and I bought it. So I do want to haul that as well with you all. So this is the dress. I thought it was like very Cinderella vibes. It's so pretty. The color is pretty. And I'm going to go ahead and haul this one as well. I probably will wear a cardigan with it because it is very, um, it is strapless. So I will show what that looks like. But the length is good. And it has pockets. I'm always here for pockets. But this is the clothes I got with my tour cash. So all of it is here. I have, this is a new item for me. These are called the chalice skirtle. I've never had a chalice skirtle. So I'm excited to see what that's like. I have a red, I got a red one. I got a, what do you call this? This a plaid maybe, plaid. And then I got a Harry Potter one. So I'm really excited for this one. This is Harry Potter. And the Harry Potter one goes with the Harry Potter cardigan. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to make a whole outfit and see what that looks like with this one. And then I got a Minnie Mouse dress that just came out. It, this is like new to the site. So I got a Minnie Mouse dress. And I got a Minnie Mouse cardigan that I could not use toward cash on because it was on clearance. So this one was $19.99 by itself. And I think it's still in stock. I will leave everything down below. If you liked any of them, you can go check them out. But I am going to try things on now and show you what they look like. Okay, so this is the Minnie Mouse dress. And it has a square neck. And it has the Minnie Mouse signature here. This is like a screen print. So it's not like embroidery. I thought it would be. I don't know why. But it is a screen print. It has sleeves. And then it has a black band here that comes around. And it has pockets, which is my favorite thing. I'm obsessed with dresses with pockets. It does go down all the way to my knee. Let me see if I get my tippy toes and you can see. There it is. All the way past my knee, actually. Now, what I did notice with this dress, it has tags on here that says that if this tag is removed, I think it's this one. Like, you can't return it if this tag is removed. And one of them says that it's online only. Yeah. One of them says it's online only return and do not remove this tag. Here it is. I've never seen that on any of the garments from Torrid. So it says online only, color may fade. What? Let me see. Oh, because of a special dye process, my color may fade to transfer when washed or worn. So it might turn things red. I've seen that before. Like if you wear like a purse, like it'll like transfer a little bit. So you might have to wash it before you wear it for sure. Right here, this is the tag I was looking for. There's so many. It says, do not remove this tag and this garment cannot be returned once this tag is removed. Online returns only. Usually if I find something from Torrid that I get online, I have taken it back in store because I do have a mall here that has a Torrid like stand up brick and mortar store. So I'll just return it there. That's the first time I've ever seen that. But I do like this dress. I do not plan on returning it. It is in a size one. So I'll give you an idea of what it looks like on me. So this is size one and um, 
I love it. I'm going to wear it to like school. Like I would totally teach in this probably with a black cardigan or, um, yeah, black or white, probably black though. Cause I don't think it's like super mini. I totally would wear it to obviously Disney. I think it'll be such a fun dress to wear to like dinner or maybe Magic Kingdom if you want to wear, if it's not hot, like if you're going in the fall. We are going to be going this year when it will be cooler, so I might wear it then. I don't know. I just love that. That would be great for school, and it would be great in my real life. So it's one of those dresses that's, like, perfect for double dipping into real life and work life. Um, I am going to pair it right now with the cardigan. Now, the cardigan is, was like I said, I did not get it on Torrid 50% off. Like, I didn't get it with the Torrid cash. This dress, let me see if the price is here. I think I have the receipt over there, but everything is different because I used Torrid Cash. Bear with me. Here it is. And it does not have a price. But I want to say this dress, I will link it down below. I think it was like $69, but I did not pay that. I paid 50% of that because I used my Torrid Cash. This cardigan is from like an Americana line. So I think it was like promoted in July for like 4th of July. Um, It does have... Minnie Mouse here. It says Americana Darling and she's like winking. Really cute. It's to me, this is not really white. This is like off white. I don't know if you can tell. It looks kind of off white. It is a cardigan as well. I got it in a size one. Size one, if you don't know Torrid, it's like 14, 16. So this is um quarter sleeve. Can you see that? So in the on the website, you really couldn't tell because the girl was like this a lot, and then she had them like scrunch like this so I couldn't tell if it was long like how long the sleeves really were but it did say three quarter it was advertised as three quarter um I do think I would totally wear to school anyway even if like my tattoos are showing my friends are like just show your tattoos who cares I don't know I probably will get there eventually um <laughs> so we'll see but I do like the cardigan a lot it is really pretty like I said it, to me look how white this dot looks compared to the cardigan this is like really white and to me this is like beige or like off-white so I don't think I would pair these two items together I would probably want to pair this with like a black dress or like a red dress because I actually do have a red dresses and black dresses I think it'll look really cute like this cardigan with a subtle Disney um addition to like a solid dress I think that would be really cute but overall I do love both these items this item is currently clearance for $19.99 and that's why I got it so I didn't get to use my hot my tour I keep calling it call it like hot cash but tour cash I think it used to be called Hote Cash like a long time ago, H-O-A-U-T-E. But anywho, I love this dress. It's so cute. And I'm so excited that I bought it. I literally, as soon as I saw it, it was like add to cart instantly. So if you like it, I will leave it linked down below. And let me show you the rest of the items I got. Okay, so this is a dress that I did not purchase using my Torrid Cash. I did buy this dress though, like 35% off. It is from Torrid and I will link it down below. It was sold out in a one when I first looked at it, but then it restocked into one and so I immediately bought it and it did say it was like low in stock. So I was so glad that I got it because I know sometimes if it's low in stock, it might actually cancel on you. But I saw this dress and I thought it was very, very Cinderella. So I paired it with a yellow cardigan here and then I paired it with my Cinderella bag from Danielle Nicole. This, fun fact, this was my bag I bought for our wedding, and I actually, like, wore it with my wedding dress, and I had my phone in it, because my wedding dress did not have pockets. I mean, I wish it did, but it didn't. And, anyhow, I like the way this looks. Like, I would totally wear this out and about. But, now let me show you more details with the dress. So, the dress itself is spaghetti straps, like I showed you before. So, I'm not going to show that, because it's, like, very, they're very thin, and you can see, like, my bra, so I'm, like, I'm just leaving it covered. But you can wear it however you want whatever makes you feel more comfortable for me i if i was gonna wear it without a cardigan i'd probably wear a shirt underneath i don't know because i feel like you could see all my bra back here so it does come like right here and like my bra sits higher so i probably wouldn't um because i have a bigger back bra i guess than average i don't know but i need the support so i have that but um this dress is really cute i like how it has the little bow here and it does show some cleavage, but it's not like to where I feel like I'm going to like fall out of it. Like I feel like it feels pretty secure. Like I would wear it and not feel uncomfortable in it. I don't know if I would wear it to school because I feel like it's a little too revealing in that area because depending on your bust, depends on how much more revealing some clothing items unfortunately are. So I do feel like if it was like a little bit more up here, then I could wear it to school. But it also has an opening right here. And then you can kind of see more there too, but 
I don't know if, I don't think it'd be a school dress without an undershirt, unfortunately for me, but it's a fun dress nonetheless, and I'm definitely going to wear it like in everyday life as opposed to like teacher life. I do love the dress itself. It has like, it has like polka, like not polka dots, but it has dots like on the fabric. So if I can show you like a part of it, can you see that? So it has the, these dots all over the dress and all over the fabric itself. It does have this trim here that makes you feel more like secure in your waist. Like it makes, I think it, I like how it does it. So it accentuates your waist. And I really like the way clothes fit like that on me. And it also has pockets. If I didn't already mention that, but it does have pockets. It's really cute. I really like it. And it's fun. It is a fun dress. And I will definitely wear it and put it to good use. So let me show you the other items I got with my Torrid Cash. Okay, so this is a new item to me. Uh, if you have the skirtles, please let me know how you did yours. So this is the red one, and I also brought the maroon one to show. I also, the Harry Potter one is the same. So this is the maroon one as well. So they have the, like the suspender type thing, right? And then look how long they are. They're super long, so they will fit anybody. And then inside, there's just a loop, one loop, yeah one loop so then you tuck it in which is what I did to this one but I'm guessing I have to tie it somewhere because they're very long like I don't know if you can see but they come out the bottom of the skirt you can't tell but they come out the bottom let me see yeah like there they are they're coming out the bottom so I'm assuming I have to go in there now and like tie them together around I don't know I'm so confused. I was, I just went to the Torrid website to see what people said. People said you tuck them in, which I did. So if you tuck them in and then you tie them, but to themselves or to each other, I don't know. Wait, wait here's the strings. Like, like literally I could turn them around and make a whole like bow in the front if I want to do that. But I mean, I don't think I would do that because I would be like silly. I don't know. I think tie them. I think tie them to themselves. That doesn't make sense. I'm gonna tie them together. I'm yeah. Let me tuck in the tag. And I tried looking on YouTube. Like nobody has like a torrid skirt all how to <laughs> how to tutorial. Okay, so let me try tying them together. I just got the tag in because the tag from the skirt is there. So I got them tucked, not tucked. Well, they're tucked in the loops. And now let me just make a bow because that just makes sense, right? I need to make a bow. Okay, there. I think it's a bow. Okay, here's the bow. Ah, yes, that makes sense because that looks cute, right? Yeah, so that's the back. If it's a mess, I apologize. There's the bow. There's the thing. Yeah, that would make absolute sense when you wear it like this. This is really cute. I was very concerned because I'm busty. Like how this would look on me, like with the, the suspenders. They're not like tight at all. They're like super loose because you're the one that adjust them like you so that I'm pulling it down in the back so I would probably have like my husband or somebody tie it for me so it's more like tight because right now I just did it as best as I could to kind of show you so I tuck them in then I pull them up and then I made a bow so that's what I did so here's the other one you would just you so what I did was I can give you a visual you pulled it up and then I did this on myself I pulled the bottom strap and then I tuck it in the loop right there. I did this while wearing it because that made more sense to me. I mean, I guess you could do it before you put it on, but I don't know if it'll go through. So then you just tuck it in and then once it's in, you pull up the bottom strap and then you make a bow. So that's literally all I did. I'm not probably going to try this one because it's exactly the same. I'll show you on my body. First, let's go over the one I have on. So the one I have one is like the red color, which is so cute. This is so, like to me, this is very Christmassy. I like it. And you could wear it with like a long sleeve tee and like black tights. That would be really cute. It comes down to the knee as well. It has faux, well, they're real buttons, but they don't button anything. They're, I guess, faux buttons because there's not like a hole there. It has buttons going down the front. It's very light. So it's not like thick at all. Like it's not like for winter without layering it 
I quote unquote winter. That was weird. It's I wouldn't. It's not winter clothes. Is what I'm trying to say. Like it's not like oh this is like the winter outfit. No, it's not. It's very thin. Like you could totally wear this in the summer or spring or any fall, autumn, whatever. Um, I would wear it for all seasons. Why not? But for sure, because of the color, I think it's very pretty for fall or autumn or winter, Christmas time. So yeah, if I were to wear it in the fall. I don't think I would need tights or anything. If I were to wear it in the winter, I think I would need a long sleeve tee underneath if you want to show this off. Now, if you don't want to show the straps off, if you want to, I guess you could wrap them around yourself and just make a bow on the side. It might be really big if you don't have them on like this. I like the suspenders. I think it's really cute. Like it gives it like a fun little um, unique look to it because I have a ton of skirts like this. Like, a big chunk of my closet is literally skirts that look like this. So I like that this is a little bit different and I like the back how it looks. I think it's cute. But yes, I'd probably wear it with tights. So this is a red one. It doesn't look that bright red. It's more like burgundy. Like it looks more like burgundy to me. Now this one here to me screams like Christmas because it's plaid. I don't know if it actually has the name, but I, like I said, I'll link it down below. This is plaid red. Yeah, plaid red. I got both of these with my Torrid Cash. So, like I said, I'm probably not going to try this one on because it's literally the same skirt and it's the same size. Like when you look them up on the website, you just pick a different color. So this is the one. Now the one has the flat, but then in the back it has the elastic. See? Gives. So one again is a 1416. This is what the one looks like on me. And then the long skirtles. Skirt overalls. That's what they skirt alls. Skirt overalls. I totally just got that. Anyway, so let me try the other skirt all. The last one I have, which is the Harry Potter ones with the cardigan. So I'm gonna make that outfit, but I'm not gonna try this one on. Um, because it's the same thing. It's literally the same thing. So you got to see me how to do it. I think if I'm wrong, let me know down below. But now there's someone trying to do it online, which is me. So let me try the, the last outfit on. Okay, I totally said I wasn't gonna show you these and I turned them on. So I wanted to make sure like, I don't know, you always like, when I like clothes, I'm like, maybe it's like uh, messed up or it's like, what is that word? When it could be like an anomaly, like one item isn't the right size. So I just wanted to make sure it fit me. And then I was like, okay, well it's on. Let's see if I can do it again. And I did it again. I pulled them through and tied them up. So I just wanted to make sure it fit me and that it wasn't like some piece of material that was not technically size one. Cause that would really sting to take off the tags and then it doesn't fit me. So here is the other one. Even though I said I wasn't gonna try it on, I lied, here it is. So I do like this one a lot actually. This one's really cute. It's very much like, like uh, uniform vibes, but I do like the way it looks. And I think it'll be cute for um, Christmas. This one for sure looks like Christmas to me because of the plaid. But I like plaid. I like tartan and I like plaid. Like the whole Outlander collection that Tori did. I have a few of those items. They're some of my favorite items. Like they're so cute. So I do like this one. But I wanted to share it since I put it on. So I was like, might as well share it with you all. Okay, let me go put the Harry Potter one out for real this time. So I'm becoming a pro at skirt alls. My arms are not, my arms are exhausted after pulling everything through and tying it. But this is my third skirt all I put on today and this is the Harry Potter edition one. So it's exactly the same except for it has a patch right here, which I'll show you in a second, but it is the, it's a plaid print as well. It has pockets just like the other ones did. It comes up here as well, it has the little loops and I tied it in the back. I don't know if I'm getting better at it or worse. This one feels like I pulled it really tight so it has longer straps. So it's kind of like an apron strap, but sideways, if that makes sense. So this is the patch right here, which I'll show you close up on the cardigan because the cardigan has the exact same patch. But what I noticed is that when you wear the cardigan, it totally covers up this patch. So if you wanna wear this patch exposed, you need to like not wear the cardigan. You need to just wear a shirt like this. But here's the cardigan, and the back of this is so cute to me. So here is the Hogwarts H with the Hogwarts writing on it. And then on this side, it doesn't have anything, but on this side, it has the exact same patch that I have here. So you'll see they're the same patch. So here's a close-up of it. It says Hogwarts, 
And then we have the three houses in the colors. We have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. I am a proud Hufflepuff. What is your house? Let me know down below. But I am a Hufflepuff. So normally I buy Hufflepuff clothing, but they don't really have a lot of them. They do have a like, they had a Gryffindor type of dress thing, which I would have bought if it was in Hufflepuff. But usually I tend to buy just the general Harry Potter. But since I do have a house that I am proud to be in, I will buy um, just Hufflepuff or generalization like this is. So here is the cardigan. This is such a cute cardigan. It is not super thick, but it's like cozy. It's um, kind of like in the middle of thick and thin, if that makes sense. So it would be nice for all seasons or like indoor AC, which tends to be the thing at my school. I was going to, I went over there. We're in summer still, but I went over there to go set up and it was like chilly in there, but I was sweating a lot. So it didn't really matter. But I always keep jackets in my room because it's, it gets cold, like the AC gets cold. But anyway, I digress. So see, you can't see the symbol here. Once you have the cardigan on, that makes me sad. But I mean, I guess it makes sense. You can always just stand like this if you want, but you can't see it. But this is the cardigan looks like. I bought this in a one as well. All my clothes are ones, but there you go. And this is the back. Do you like it a lot? I think this outfit is so cute. I actually cannot wait to wear this to school. I feel like this is such a teachery outfit, even though it looks like a student's uniform. I really like it. I love plaid. It's so much fun. Um, and to have more clothing that fits it, I love that as well too. So I love the pockets. When you do wear the cardigan, you really can't see this skirt all. Like you can't see the overall thing. I don't know. But I guess if you open it, but I mean, I wouldn't. I would just walk around like this. I do like the whole look. Again, this cardigan would be great with a black dress, other clothing completely. You could wear a white dress. I actually have a white dress that I could wear with this. That would be really cute too. And I like how the cardigan comes low, so it covers my bottom. Like when I wear white skirts in my dresses, I always want to wear something that covers my bottom because I'm always afraid I'm going to sit on something and then my bottom's going to be dirty. So it helps to have a cardigan that'll cover your bottom. I like that. So this is the last outfit from my Torrid haul and everything I bought with my Torrid cash. If you like something, I will link it down below. Please let me know what your favorite item was that I got. Please let me know if my shirt all tutorial was helpful. If you want me to explain it again, I can try maybe. But I did try to explain it as best as I could with the little pictures and stuff. Whoa, with the other skirt in front of me. Um, hopefully that helps you if you do get the shirt alls. I do like them. I think they're fun. And um, I like everything that I got. Like I'm really happy with this haul. Like everything was great because... I haven't really been, I bought a couple of things from Torrid in the summer, like some shorts, and I did not like those, and I took them back into store. Speaking of which, the dress was the only thing that had that ticket that said that it was an online return only. That was weird. I wonder why, because I've always, like, if there's something I didn't like, I always returned it in store, but I mean, I'm keeping everything, so everything you saw, I am keeping, I'm adding it to my wardrobe, and I'm going to go, now I have to go take off all the tags, and put everything in the wash, because I do like to wash everything before I wear it, if I can. Like if I bought something for a specific event and it comes in that day, I probably won't wash it. Like I'll probably just put it on and go. But most of the time I do try to like wash it before I wear it. So that is everything. That is my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are doing well. Take care of yourself. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.